Gentlemen, I've gathered you here for a very important event. We, we, we need to rank frogs. Frog tip. This might be the most important science that anyone can do in the 21st century. It, it, it's, it's important on, you know, a global scale. It's meaningful. It, it, it's, a, it's incredibly scientific. And, and, as, and as everyone knows, we are all major frog aficionados. Officia frogos, maybe. So we have a lot of opinions, scientific opinions on frogs, and it's time for us to render them forth. Follow me on all the big frog forums over there as Big Frog Lover number 0070694. Follow my Amazon reviews of frogs. So in order for us not to talk about a bunch of nerds all in a row, uh, we have in fact randomized the list of frogs, and I am going to be picking these frogs essentially out of the randomized hat. Big hat full of frogs. We're going to start here with... Gray slod. Okay. Oh, so we're starting with a. Uh, You're starting with the one weird D and D ones. Look, man, Great. this is this is the luck of the draw. Reached into your hat, pulled out a slod. Got it. Yep. So slods, as I recall, they're like otherworldly. Like they're not demons. They're kind of just like extra dimensional entities that have to all happen to also coincidentally be frogs. In in D and D, in the way that demons and devils are evil, slot or chaotic is what it is. They're just they're, generally they're, chaotic. They are it, literally chaos incarnate is the way you'd put it. You know. Yeah, incarnate in frog form. Yeah, that's just because frog is the most chaotic form of life. Uh, apparently, I'm not an expert on that. I'm an expert on frogs, not on chaos. Like, but aren't frogs like it be like if we look at this card here, like it, it's an adventure card, which hey, a frog going on an adventure, I'm into it. But yeah, it's pretty good. But also like a frog be, being a source of like decay in the universe, like all all the universe trends towards frog. I'm kind of into that. Frog is entropy. So you know? what 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 are the things you look for on a good frog? That's my question here to start. Hops, hopping. Hopping, hopping, tonguing, being cute little guys sometimes, but also sometimes I can, I am into the, the horror aspect of frogs. You know, I have, sure. I have always been since my childhood, a, a fan of the classic, you know, uh, local fairy told tale stuff of the, the, the terror toad. Sure. As you do. Which, mm -hmm. Hey, so from that standpoint, you know, I'm willing to accept a frog horror at the same time. Uh, I think the thing that would elevate a frog for me is if it was wearing a tiny little hat. <laughs> That's always a good thing for a frog to do. Yeah. Like particularly wrong. for frogs. Like if this was like hippos or whatever, and it was a hippo wearing a hat. I would also be into that, but not as much as if it was a frog wearing a hat. Sure. I mean, I don't know. Like this is, this is more slods seem almost their, more their own thing than actually being necessarily frog. Like they're frog shaped. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And even then, not not really all that much. I mean, look at this guy and tell me what beyond large mouth is actually froggy about this slot. Sure. Um. Well, I don't think he could wear a hat. You could no, you could wear a hat, especially it would be like on the very tip of that horn up there. Yeah, you know, but I don't think I don't think it would look very good. His knees are kind of also jointed wrong, which I'm not into. Like mm -hmm. his hips, like I expect to be like I expect to see like hoppage. Slod are slotty because that's actually their uh, their plural because that's uh, you know just yeah. how chaotic they are. Sure. Um, they're only superficially frog like when you get down to it. Like can they, can this they is jump? not. I yeah, I think they can. I think they're actually pretty good at jumping. That's maybe does, their one does, thing, but they do have the wrong legs for that. But. Does the monster manual specifically say they can like leap? Well, you know, if you want me to fucking dig up one of the monster manuals, I could do that. I'm just curious how good they are at jumping. Okay, well, give me a second. All right. Like, I think the thing also is like, aren't the slotty like the ones that like they live in like a weird like chaos rock pile that's just floating there? Yeah. And they just kind More of just appear out of the rocks or something? Or are they the ones that like infect people and turn them into frogs? They infect people and turn them into frogs. That's the thing that they do. Uh, and, they, and they've got different, like a hierarchy based off of their colors, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's like um, green, red, blue, death. 
uh, <laughs> my favorite color, black, white. Well, I mean, they're death in the, that's, you know, in the book of revelation sense, the pale green. That's just like toads and Mario. Yes, oh, it's true. <laughs> we all remember the death toad. Ah! We're, ranking, we're ranking frogs, not toads. Parentheses fungus. I mean, it's going to be for right now, the top of our frog list one way or the other. I mean, yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to dig through all my fucking books. Okay, fine. No, that's I fine. I mean, it doesn't matter. It was a more rhetorical question. Hey, leave a comment in the comments section if slods are very good at jumping. I'm interested in this. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, he here's another weird frog, unfortunately. Uh, it is the frog lizard token. So... This is the one produced by uh, rapid hybridization, most notably, but yep. also uh, incubation incongruity. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of, so it's the, it's the thing we keep on talking about. Every time we talk about a simic creature here, the combination of individual traits, like it's interesting of, uh, unto itself, but it diminishes the intrinsic aspects of the things it's combining. Yeah. So the frog on the frog lizard token over here is, uh, if I'm looking at it, it has the general back leg body shape over there. You know, that could just be a lizard's legs. I think that they're coming up to make the, uh, to the form, the iconic frog. I ace. think it's, it's got the poison glands on its fucking shoulder neck thing. And then it's just got smooth uh -huh. skin that it breathes through. I, I feel like that those, those legs terminate into frog ass. I'm 90% sure. sure I'm not saying that's like, it doesn't have a tail. So yeah. yeah. I mean, is, is it worse or better than a gray slot? Now this, <laughs> we're dealing with competing it's things that aren't very frog. good. It has more frog qualities on its art at the very least, but I kind of like how the, the, the slot has a four one. I feel like that's actually pretty so, frog like I like that this, this guy was a guy that got made into a frog and that is a classic mm -hmm. frog thing. That is true. That is true. Tran trans frog transformation. We're not doing turn to frog effects in this just because yep. they're not actually frogs. They turn things into frogs, which we respect. Honorable mention. Don't count. Yeah, I, I might put this above gray slot. I think I'd put this above gray slot myself. They're, they're honestly, yeah. they're pretty close. So frog lizard token. Well, it's easy. Next up is wretched anurid. Now, personally, I'm of the opinion that all anurids are wretched, but oh, I like the anurids. They're great. I, okay. So I'm not a huge fan of anurids. They've got too many man traits in them, which is funny. Cause they're not very sapient. No, like, but like this one's got like, it looks like he's just got like, like man teeth and like yeah, man got teeth. jaws. And it's like, yeah. I don't know. Some, some of the other ones have like man hands. And it's so like, part of like the that. thing you have to remember with this is also it's onslaught. So he's also mutating along the zombie and the beast traits. If you look, he's got burns, bone spurs growing out of him. Yeah, that's true. Right. So you have to remember that part. Well, if he's big old mutating, though, it's like he's not very froggy anymore. He's just got frog like essence in him now. And then well, like mean, he's sure. more in his ability feels more zombie. Than it does necessarily frog. Yeah, which that's another thing we constantly hit is well, this is a zombie thing. Yeah, I would probably put this at the bottom of this list right now. I think so. Yeah, I agree with that. Like there are a tiny handful of, uh, of frogs that have teeth. I'm not going to oh. put that off. Oh yeah, sure. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, not going to like go against the frog in Magic: The Gathering having teeth. Yeah, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. I I, I don't like. I don't like these teeth. I don't like these teeth. I don't sure. like these teeth, guys. I don't like them. He's got teeth. I don't like them. Galloping Lizrog. Another Simic frog. We're getting them, getting them out. Get them out early. I don't think frogs should gallop. I, I think you're right. Like, I like this thing I, of mm -hmm. into itself. Okay. But galloping a frog? Okay, here's the thing. There are walker frogs. There are frogs that walk. Yes. They are of a completely different body type or body shape than like, you know, the hopping frogs. And this is a yeah. hopping frog body type, you know, if this guy was just round, 
and he just had like little legs on the sides and he was walking around in some sand yeah. and he was just running real good that'd be pretty nice but this is not the right kind of frog for this kind of movement I just want you to know that as you were saying that entire thing the Walker Texas Ranger theme was playing behind in my brain the yep. entire time and I'm probably gonna mm -hmm. have to edit a cowboy hat onto yep. this galloping Lizrog now well so. you can't that doesn't affect my rating via frog via frog with hat so I, it doesn't you, count you're, you're probably right I, I you can do it but it's not gonna affect my judgment I, this might actually be the bottom of this list right now in all honesty like i like this unto itself but as a frog i, eh. I like his i like his skin and his legs look good he yeah, does have good frog legs he does have a good leopard frogish like kind of yeah. skin texture on him but does that put him be below or above a wretched in red because right i, I feel like the huge thing it's... is even with even with all of this i think this is, has literally the most frog traits out of everything we've actually Correct. Rate, that's like, what i was so getting far. at yeah. i think this like, is more frog than anything i don't just, like him it's but that's because we've started weak. It's just, yeah, you're bad at pulling frogs out of a hat. Look, man, the frogs come when they come. Oh, yeah, they're coming. <laughs> they're so, coming for you. So, so where, where would you put him? I would put this I at the top of the list. The top of the list right oh, now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yes. Hmm. But only because it's more frog than the other frogs you pulled out. Sure. I, I, That's kind hey. of the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're hey, if we're getting low quality frogs out of the hat early on. That's fine. It can only get better from this. Don't say that. There's some bad frogs in there still. <laughs> still plenty of Yonarids. How dare you? <laughs> Here's a frog that isn't bad. Haze frog. Okay. So Haze frog from Rise of Eldrazi. It's a frog that has flash. And when he enters, he does a fog. Which that's fun. So yeah. flash I like is a, a frog jumping out of nowhere. Just being like, aha, it's a frog. I love being surprised by a frog. And this one happens to be a fog and a frog, which I appreciate. It's a haze fog frog. So I've got a framed poster that came out when Battle for Zendikar came out, right? And mm -hmm. it's just a big mm -hmm. Zendikar thing. And down at the very bottom, there's just a haze frog. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just there. And it's like the, the three creatures they decided to put on there. There's a haze frog. Good. I'm into it. Iconic. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm all for that. Hayes Frog is uh, pretty handsome. The other two, for the record, there's like a, a core sky fisher, and then also like Obnixilus is buried at the very bottom. <laughs> sure. Hey, so. hey, Red, what is Hayes Frog's uh, prey? What does it eat? I mean, it's a frog, so anything it can fit in its mouth. Yeah, okay. So a it would actually be. Perchance. Mm -hmm. Given that this came out in Rise of the Eldrazi, I bet this thing loved eating the Eldrazi. Uh, a spot. scoot. Mm hmm. Not too many, though. That mob can get huge. Well, yeah. That's why you got to keep the haste frogs out. Keep the scoots in check. Mm -hmm. And then when this thing shows up, it gets a free meal. So, but uh, hey, I like ambush frogs. Yeah, this is this is the top of the list right now. Yeah, for sure. The haste frog is it's, a, it's, a good ass frog. It's a frog, yeah. It is a frog. We are looking at the first real frog on this list is what it is. And it's a pretty decent one. Now, these things are going to get very problematic right now because we're about to hit a real classic frog now. It doesn't get much more classic than this. Folks, it's a chub toad. Oh, oh getting to chub toad this early? This is one of those flavor texts that just lives in my brain forever and has for 25 years now. I mean, this, this is literally as classic as magic frogs get as far as, you know, it, it, it is a fantasy frog. It's got weird, like, you know, quills on it. That's fine. porcupine and a oh, frog. Look, it's the Ice Age. Yeah, I know. Things get weird. I understand. Yeah. It has Bushido, which is still funny. We'll, we'll get into more how funny mm -hmm. that is later. But it it's 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 a it's a cute little monstrous frog, and he ate a guy, and I appreciate that. Its name is an anagram of bad touch. Is it really? Yes, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Why does Chub Toad actually go to people's doors? To eat them. I mean, the, they're warm doors. It's the Ice Age. You tell me you're not going to go to the doors? <laughs> if it's to eat them, then dang, they, these toads have learned it's, it's that more they can go that, to people's settlements and eat them, eat people it's, there. I think it's more oh, the, the toads show up at the door and they just kind of bump into it some. So you go to the mm. door thinking like your pizza, your weed whacker is going to show up and then the toad just <laughs> eats you and they've learned. Yeah. Uh, scary food. I mean, Spooky. like I said, this fits into my, 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 
my enjoyment of the classic horror frog trope. So I'm, I'm into it. This is, I, th- it's, it's a big frog that eats things. Yeah. It's that's this is, yeah. This is number one on this list. I think. Yeah. This is a frog that can eat a grizzly bear. Sorry. This is a frog and then eat grizzly bears. Yeah. There's two yeah. bears on that, to- on that card. True. Now I'm going to do it. Very There's at least it. two. Yeah. Speaking of frogs that eat stuff, uh, how about the species okay. gorger? Now, as far as simic frogs go, this is pretty froggy. I mean, oh, yeah, it's a frog it beast. Is. So they have, you know, it's not any specific other animals that they put into it. It just fucked up a frog real good. Yeah. Enhance frog. Uh, worth noting that this effect, uh, this effect uh, hops something, you know, back into your hand. It's pretty solid. You yep. know, that's good mechanics. It feels good, frog. Uh, the flavor text also implies some good stuff about the intrinsic biology of the species gorger, which I'm into. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eating up all the wasp crabs. Yep. <laughs> and the winter comes and the species gorger will die. That's the brilliant part. Yeah, the cold snap kills them off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are frogs. It's understandable, right? Like, uh, they, they're they frogs and they're supposed to survive by virtue of, you know, just getting frozen and then surviving the thaw because it's just how they can work sometimes. But yeah. all the beast stuff that they got put into, it means it can't do that anymore. Yeah. Now, I okay, I realize what this is going to sound like, but please yeah. take... T- Take me at the best way. I don't like how limp wristed it is. You know, sure. Like it's our. It's like I'm it's taking it pretty arm. bad. No, no. I'm, I'm no, taking it bad. No. I'm just saying. Like, look at his forearms. They're just kind of like, like they're like little, like, like they're like sausages. It's like little frog. Can't sausages. believe that Zorak is homophrogic. <laughs> no. <laughs> look, I'm just saying. Like, look at his forearms. They're just not. They're. They're just kind of there, you know? He's got weird little tentacles. I get it. Talking about the arms on a frog. And well, yeah, they do use them and they kind of have hands sometimes. It's not like he was born the with the back those arms. ones are what matter. Yeah, yeah, but also, like, I don't know. It just the way he's just kind of holding his, his delicate little sausage arms there is just mm, not, not, not a huge fan. Uh, he's okay. He's not, like, he's not the top of this list. He's okay, in my opinion. I'd probably put him below phase frog. Here's the thing. That's where I'm at. Go on. I like the mechanic uh, on this card because it's bouncing creatures into mm-hmm. your hand, which is inherently froggy. Presumably because it's eating them, though. But no, but they're getting back in your hand. That means you can play them again. That means that they're, they're safe. They're fine. This frog is saving them. Yeah, after they go through the frog, yes. Yeah, so it's, it's, I guess it's non-lethal to go through the frog, sure. Mm. I would still say, yeah, below haze frog. Sure, yeah, below haze frog is fine. Yeah. Species gorger. Uh, next up is, it's another nerd. Yeah, yeah. A nerd scavenger. That's the first aneurysm. So, of, of the nerds, I think this is the one I, this is one of the ones I like more. Look okay. at that soulful look. Yeah. This one is just having deep thoughts. Yeah. I like his texture. I, I like his little clawed hands. He's yeah. got, he's got the good flipper feet. This one, first one we've seen that's, frog wise that has good flipper feet. That's what an annual is supposed to look like. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. It kind of has but more heel monster skin favorite than he thing. does about the aneurids is every every time they showed up they have a pun in their flavor text and ever since they just keep doing that sure they will always have frog puns sure i'm not i'm not opposed to it i like aneurid. fuck you he, he scavenges the stuff out of your <laughs> gra- <laughs> and then he scavenges the stuff out of your graveyard i guess yeah frogs will do that i'm just i, I meant said it earlier but uh, his skin is kind of more like uh more like a Gila monster than a frog. That's that's reptile skin is what he's got. He's got bumpy skin. He's like a toad. <laughs> yeah, toad's gonna have bumpy skin. Th- that's more than bumpy. Those are those are spikeish. You know, what like is the, a the spike? But a more more specialized bump. I'm talking about like you, the kind you find on things like iguanas and Gila monsters and that mm. kind of lizard. It's just bumpy. Goes into Google. Google searches sharp frog. I mean, there are sharp frogs. Yeah, like yeah, there's the ones that uh, break their you know ribs to form spurs. Those ones are great. Spiky yeah. frog. Yeah, 
Well, yeah, Chub Toad's got spines. Chub Toad's got spines, but that's just because of the Ice Age. I mean, this guy lives on Otaria, so shit gets mm. weird. Fair. Where, where do you put him? Where would you put? The, I still think gorger? I would put him below Gallop. Uh, sorry, the uh, Species Gorger. I uh, put, him above, put him above Gorger. You put him above. I, I like th- Species Gorger yeah. mechanically, though. That's yeah. fine. I think I would put this below Species Gorger. I just think he looks cool. Like I think it's close. Looks all right. But looks all right. It was a frog I could talk to. I mean, I talk to all frogs. Look at that. He's a frog that you could talk to, but would you want to? Do, what do you think that this dude wants to talk about? Nothing. That's the best part. You want only small talk off of this frog? He's got like a gill man face. Mm hmm. True. You know, I'm sweet for gill man. That is true. I know that about you. Yeah, that's fair. I can respect that. Next up is Spore Frog. Oh, I love Ooh. Spore Frog. Spore Frog is I love great. Spore Frog as well. Look at all them little wispy bits. So one thing that we have not talked about about a trait I like about frogs, we you hate to call attention to it, but the frogs are also inherently squishable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they are very good as a thing that you sacrifice for dark arts um, or to accomplish effects. And this frog, incredibly squishable. <laughs> I love to crush this frog into dust. Well, into mush. He doesn't become dust. So this is also one of the weird cases we're going to have to first example here of a uh, frog that has a universes beyond uh, equivalency. It's also a Gromp. Gromp from League of Legends, I'm guessing. I have no idea what Gromp is from. Well, he came from he came from the the shit without. Yeah, the wild whatever whatever it's called. I forget what the thing is, but yes, it's, it's a League of Legends thing. It's it's kind of a fine frog, sure, but looking back at Spore Frog, yeah, instead of Gromp, Gromp is whatever. Spore, Spore Frog is great. Gromp is a Spore fine frog name is for a great, frog. but he's Spore got those, Frog though, he's got the soulful eyes. He's smiling, even though you're about to crush him with your little hands. Uh, he is actually one of the most powerful frogs uh, in terms of gameplay over the history of the game. Yeah, Spore Frog funny. has seen play as just a very efficient onboard fog. Here's right? the sad That's thing. The- He's easily in the top three best cards of Prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not uh, even a joke. Prophecy. What, not even a joke. I mean, it's a fog you can recur using a creature-based you know, recursion. So yep. it gets you it's a death It's a fog trigger. you can hit things with. That's true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Another case of a, a fog and frog also, which I, I still think is good. Yep. <sighs> Though, I like him more than Haze Frog. I like him more than Chub Toad. I'm fine with that as well. Yeah, he's. That's a frog I could talk to. That's a frog I could put a little hat on. That's that's true of every frog in my book. I I'm talk... not going to put a hat on that Chub Toad. Mm, I guess I, pretty... I know the nursery rhyme. That Chub Toad's going to eat that hat at best. That is the best case scenario. But I like a horror frog too. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fine. They're kind of close to me, but sure. Two classic frogs. Next up. Ooh, ooh, bloated toad. Oh, this is a great toad. You would like to hear about a bloat on that toad. Oh, God, look at that guy. I really do like how this toad looks. Got that doing a fricker art? Bloated toad's great. He's so good. Protection from blue because he can eat stuff out of the water. The cycling doesn't really mean anything, but man, he's just a good, he's just a good toad. Look at him. I get ideas from throwing this toad into the trash. The cycling means you can look at that toad, say, hey, toad, and then keep on walking. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yes, that that is talking to the toad. Cycling is talking to the toad and getting a great idea out of it. So, I mean, cycling is always going to be weird because it's like one of the only mechanics in magic that has literally no justification for why it's there aside from it being a mechanic you know yep. which is fine yeah it's fine i don't i'm not mad about that it's just that means you have to just you get to justify it in however way you want yeah. look at a toad and walk on by don't have to worry about it just like tip your hat and say good evening toad and move on uh, move, move that on with your life ain't, or that frog ain't gonna help me or you thought about the toad and you got a better idea because you thought about the toad true man i 
I do like toads though. Like frogs and toads are, are both great. Ugh. I love that this frog is a two, two, but it's looking at just a regular mouse over here. It's like a dormus. Like a zero one mouse. He could eat the hell of that mouse, but he ain't. God, this bloated toad right here looks like it's mostly just about as large as Toadzilla, that 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 toad that was found in Australia recently. The one they killed, yeah. Yeah, the one that they killed because it is still a cane toad, you yeah. know. Yeah. But that does mean that that makes that toad a fucking tutu. No, I'm assuming yeah, again, this... toads that can destroy bears. See, I'm assuming this is actually a grizzly bear sized toad. I mean, personally. that's a toad that can destroy a farmer. Yeah, it's there's all sorts of yeah. things. And a grizzly bear sized toad, and then that mouse would be like the size of that's like look at a capybara sized mouse for, for shortening. Yeah, that doesn't you know, that actually that makes the quite, toad even larger, but it quite doesn't work here. <laughs> um, it's fine. That mouse is really far away. <laughs> no, no, the toad is the mouse is closer to us. The toad is for sure. It's even bigger. That than implies that the mouse is smaller, Zorak. I know the mouse is substantially slower, smaller than the frog. That's what I'm saying. It is smaller than the frog. Yeah, I know, but it's even more than what you think. Let's move on. Okay, then we're talking about the fact that we're looking just in like a mud ditch over here and like those are regular sized plants over there. <laughs> no, that's a, it's a big, it's a really big frog. Um, <laughs> where, where do we want to put this? I, listen, I love that this toad is like the size of uh, my head and still a tutu. I think that's great. Yeah, I think that's that fantastic. Extremely poisonous. I, I think it, I still say this yeah. is like man tall f- frog, but all right. Um, Take it however you want. It's a weird Yavamaya frog. Yava frog? Uh? No, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll come back later with a better one. Frogamaya. Oh, shit, that is better. Fuck. Um, it's better, but... Fraga Fraga? It doesn't work, no. <laughs> Totemaya is probably the, mo- the oh, actual shit. one that flows the best, but... All right. I th- here's the thing. Bloated toad is just a regular ass frog. We look at this thing; it's just a particularly hefty, chuffy toad, right? Yeah. And that's it's great. A, it's I a very that. good example of a very chuffy toad. Exactly, and I'm I'm not putting it down. I'm just yeah. saying that, like, when we get down to it, frog is one of nature's perfect animals. We look at that True. and just ha- like yep. smile because we're looking at a frog. Yep. And the fact that this is like no frills, just that frog is amazing. Yeah. I would probably put this above species gorger. I think you're saying low. Yeah. You think so? like, admit the admit to yourself. That you this just is like a great, a basic this frog. is a great toad. I mean, it is a great toad. I'm just saying like, I like the mechanical froggishness on the other, on the top three. This is all. I, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, protection from blue is reasonably froggy. If you ask. And me. again, that's just, true. Just can't swim. Say hi to the frog and just keep walking. Okay. Well, where would you guys put this frog? Would you put this at the top? I'd put it below Spore Frog. I would put it below Spore Frog. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Above Chub Toad. Huh. Above Chub Toad. Above Chub Toad. Interesting. Because this is also a Chub Toad. We're looking at it right here. This toad is Chub as hell. Yep. That's true. Next up, it's another Nerd. Yay. Uh, this is easily my least favorite Nerd. It's excavating a Nerd. I just don't like how this guy looks. He's got a dumb look on his face. They all have dumb looks on their face. I just remember a different nerd I like less. So, but the frog, they all have dumb looks on their face. Yeah. Zorak, I've got a suggestion for you. Go on. Excavate a nerd. Art is exactly the same. Tongue is extended and currently eating that, uh, that uh, bird that's in front of it. Would that improve it immensely? I would improve it immensely, but also I just don't like this, this teeth. The, the teeth situation is just does not do anything to me. Fine. Those teeth are going to fuck up a long tongue. He's going to cut into his own tongue. That's He's fine. careful with it. He's yeah. careful with it. Also, his face looks stupid. His face does look a little stupid. How dare you? He looks like the baby Grinch. <laughs> yeah, that looks he, pretty dumb. He does kind of look like the baby Grinch. I do not like, respect him. He looks like Grinch. a Goomba from a Super Mario Brothers movie. But like a zoom in on him because you can't like the, the Goomba heads being so tiny is important. We can't it is. Part agree. Of their, I, yeah. Yeah, I just. No, like yeah, probably better than like a nerd scavenger. That's probably where I would put it. I like it. I like it less than a nerd scavenger. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Same. That's kind of where I'm at with it though. Nerd scavenger. All right. It was it below galloping Lizrog? No. 
still a frog. I mean, I could put it below Galloping Lizrog. I'm not going to oppose that, honestly. It's, it's still more frog than that Galloping Lizrog. I don't know. That Lizrog has eh. got some pretty good skin texture going on. So does this one. He's got toad skin. I guess that's true. You've looked at a toad. I have looked at many a toad in my life. I have, I have held many a toad in my life. Yeah. Piss all in your hand. It's weird. Yeah. Now, talk about fake frogs. It's a paper craft decoy. No, this is a facili- fa- facsimile, facsimile of a frog. Yeah. It's an imitation frog. It's a, it's a distracting frog, which I'm into because any frog is a distraction. If I saw a frog bouncing around, you will immediately see me just like, hard turn left towards that frog. Yeah. So from that standpoint, it makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. It does bounce. But- but it is also it is also just a paper imitation of a frog. That's fine. It's a pretty well made one. Sure, that's a handsome piece of origami. A ninja made this frog, which is pretty fun. It's also breaking pillars, kinda like I it's th- hopping around through I think, them. I, th- I think those are pots. Okay, pots. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. I also like the the goof of this that you can actually see in the reflection of the shoulder of his armor. You can see the ninja about to stab this guard, knock yeah. him or knock him out. So. This guard's like, hey, a frog! And immediately gets, like, owned for it. It's pretty good. Treacherous frog. Do Mm. you like when a frog is treacherous? I mean, to the frog's end. Mm Mm-hmm. So not when it's used for others in their treachery. I feel like that's not on the frog. That's fair. (laughs) This is another frog that you uh, you walk past it and uh, it gives you an idea in its own sort of way. You know, it's basically just instead when it leaves. Well, it's because there's a note written on the inside of them. <laughs> Frogs don't betray people. People betray people. <laughs> true. It's very true. I expect a frog to only frog. Frog only has one act. Frog. This, I mean, honestly, I, I'm kind of into this, actually. Like, it, it, is a, it is a imitation frog, but on the other hand, it is an artistic frog. And you know what? Yeah. We need more art and art, art, rep, artistic representations of types. I like that. Sure. I would probably put this better than Galloping Lizrog. Same. Yeah, same. Easy. Is it, it's That's a, exactly where I was thinking. Interesting. Okay, cool. I mean, I could put them above... Both of the androids as well. Nah, not me. I mean, well, then Zarak, where would you put it? I- I'm going to compromise here. I'm going to put it between the two. All Split right, split them up. They're not married anymore. Nobody's happy. Yay! Well, I'm pretty happy about it. It's a flying it. frog. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, unfortunately, we do need to talk about another an android already. Sure. Uh, th- okay, I said earlier the other one's my least favorite android. I think this one's. Oh, can I can I guess which one it is based on? With, you hate the art. Yeah. Is it Bark Ripper? It is absolutely Bark Ripper. Yay! I, I hate it so much. It has a man face. It has a man's <laughs> face. It's like Iggy from Stardust Crusaders. It's got like a man face. Ooh, that's what it sounds like. It's doing that right now. Broke, so do you. <laughs> That's not, an advantage. That's not a good thing. See, it looks like he's going to put mascara on. It reminds me of Lur from Futurama. Sure, I could see that. But it's not a frog man. It's just a frog that happens to look like a man. Yeah. Shouldn't hate that hippie. I, I don't like him. I don't like I him. I hate looking at this. No, I get you. I, I hate I, looking I, at this. <laughs> You, I, you could have typed, you could have named this thing Wormfang Frog, and I would have had the same thought about it. This thing was taken out of the nightmares I may or may not have. Man, fa- man fanged frog. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like, like I said, there's, I, there's a reason I could guess which one it was by you not liking it. <laughs> we've, we've had many conversations on me not liking anorids, so this makes sense. Yep. And every time it's like, no, they're great. I love them. Except this one. No, this one I've always thought was kind of gross looking. This is truly the wretched aneurysm <laughs> right here. Yeah. But is my distaste for his appearance enough to truly put him at the bottom of this list? Yes, easy. Just fucking put him there. <laughs> Get it out of here. I want to stop looking at it. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's see where this, this counter, de- this defensive anered bark rapper before I press enter. I think it's just slightly better than the slod. Really? Just slightly. Do you want to make an argument here? It does look more like a frog. Does, does it? it? Yes. 
It, look at its hands. Yeah, look it's, it's look, hands at, look that, at its big thick arms. It does have the general body shape, except for ignoring the head of a frog. Yeah, he's not wearing pants like the slot is. I don't. I'm not gonna fucking like judge that the the pantslessness of something as you, you literally did frog. in the devil's ranking. We literally did. That, yeah, that's for devils. That's different. This is frogs. Are you saying mm. if you saw? Are you saying if you saw a frog IRL and it's wearing a tiny pair of frog blue jeans, you'd be I'd like, have more that, frogs. Frogs. that would be great. Like, <laughs> describe, put that in your head right now, and tell me right here and now. I am. That would not th- rule. Here's the thing. I'm thinking about a frog wearing blue jeans and how much that is going to chafe that frog. <laughs> no, it's sure, fine. it's uncomfortable, but that's what you sacrifice for fashion. I don't want that on a frog. Frog. I mean, it's, those pants would have to be pretty moist for him as well. And yeah, just which is mo- why I'm like, oh, that, they're just going to change. Yeah, moist jeans are terrible. You skin. got your point. Yeah. What about toad wearing jeans, though? Oh, sorry. I just realized that uh, I'm going to regret my words and deeds for realizing that the, the, the frog needs to be completely nude. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm convinced above gray slaw. This conversation was stupid. I'm now convinced. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> 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 that, the defense that's rest. How, that's how science works, folks. That's just how it go. Oh, good frog. A uh, leapfrog. This is, in fact, a really good frog. This is a frog that you, you, it sees a spell go off and it jumps. It just goes, ah, jump. Because it thinks it's an insect. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. It sees a lightning bolt going by and it goes, I can eat that. He's right. Well, no, he's not. It will. It, he's a three one. Any spell that does damage kills it well, immediately. He, he's, he, Frogs are frogs are dumb as shit. They're really stupid. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that's wrong. I feel like that's completely correct. You know, he will fall from that power, altitude. Though. Well, he's falling from really high on a building. If you got hit by a frog falling from like the twentieth story of a building, that would hurt. <laughs> yeah, when the frog explodes upon contact with my head, absolutely. Yep. yep. He is he is just spider frogging, which I always appreciate. I've always yep. enjoyed. Of Love a tree yeah. frog. I've yep. always enjoyed mm-hmm. like uh, also just the general fact that like in our modern, you know, kind of uh, cityscape, there are many frogs that have in fact learned to just live on sides of buildings or under, you know, awnings and stuff, which, yep. Hey, get what you got to get what you can get frogs. Do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. I, I Absolutely. respect it. I'm also willing to just say this outright that uh, among the frog body shapes, the, the tree frog is probably my favorite. The long oh, yeah. limbs that, the big old eyes are always so good. They are also, very handsome. Can I, can I point out that this is literally just called Leapfrog? It is also just called Leapfrog, which was, that's yeah. perfect. Perfect. It's a fantastic f- pun. I would honestly, I, w- I would honestly put this at the top of this list. Then hops. That's mechanically hopping. Yeah, yep. I'd point that this at the top myself. I, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's a good joke. Good thing. I respect it. Leapfrog. This frog is uh, the frog that can climb anything. Slip frog. Next up, speaking of uh, important frogs, it's frog mite. We love frog mite. Oh boy, frog mite. <laughs> so the affinity for artifacts I've always taken for, in this case, to be re- literally the, the presence of little artifact greeblies that the frog mite was going to try to eat is what attracts the frog. Mike. It's blink moths. Mm-hmm. It's straight up. It's blink moths. Yeah. So, like, th- there is frog mechanical identity here, is what I'm saying. Yeah. See, it's also is- frog mite, which is a card that is a f- absolutely free bear in 90% of situations in which you're playing this card. Yeah. yeah. This card is wild. It's, it's frog very- mite, baby. It's a very strong frog. I like his little spring legs. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Little spring legs is great. Uh, talking about the, this is the basically a tree frog body shape right here. The arms are a little bit short for it, but close to it. It's yeah. fine. It's a robot frog. Yeah. I, I'm glad that someone felt that it was important to design the frog mite. Presumably Memnark? Memnark? It could, it could be naturally occurring. It could be a frog that became more metallic. The mycosynth did the things. Could be. Could be. Maybe Karn showed up and he said, first things first, we will put down a frog. Sure. I could see it. I personally find frog mite uh, gorgeous and adorable. It is a little bit hard for me to get past the fact that it is a uh, his car is an ass kicking and a half. Yeah. Well, good news. They're probably all dead now. True. Yeah, they likely are. 
Unless they could be evil now. Unless there's a Phyrexian one in this set, and then we have to update the list immediately. Yes, which I'll say that, that oh, is man. the that is the risk we're running here, folks. We're doing this right in the middle of uh, one preview season, so uh, I'm I'm putting my cards down and hoping that I'm simultaneously hoping that's not the case, and also hoping it's the case because I would love to see a new frog. They uh they turn Yargle into a Phyrexian. They complete oh, the Yargle. Oh oh. They can't keep taking the ones I love from me. <laughs> uh, where? Hmm. That's the tricky thing with this one because it. Mm. I don't know how to rank Frogmite. Is the thing though? Yeah. yeah. Well, we put Papercraft wanna... Decoy fairly high. Yeah, and this is more Frog than Papercraft Decoy is. But mechanically, I mean, the Finny Furtifact has some Frog flavor, but sure. Because yeah, it's it is attracted to the blink moths. Yeah, so that makes sense. But then like everything above, like even like an everything above a nerd scavenger has some frog flavor going on. So like that's yeah. not, not anything especially yeah. unique. Mm-hmm. Uh I would put this above annuid scavenger. That's probably that's about what I was thinking. That's like, pretty good. Yeah. Which says a lot because you know how I feel about annuid scavenger. Yeah. He's crap. How mm-hmm. dare you? Um, he eats crap. There's a difference. Oh, now here's a frog. Now here's a frog. Unwilling ingredient. Ooh, baby. That this now this is a frog. This is a squishable frog. This is a pissed off frog that's you're, you're gonna use for like a magical ingredient. Yeah, that's good frog trait. You you learn dark information from him. Uh, I will say that you are dissecting this frog in science class. That is true. True, you are. I really appreciate this card. And the menace is that it's hot. It is uh, you know hopping around. You have to like get a good grip on it as it you gotta uh, get, tries to you escape. Gotta, you got to get two feet. You got to corner it. Yeah. I mean, also mm-hmm. it is looking at you just kind of angry. It's just a mad. It's mad that it's getting sacrificed. Like the flavor text says. Of course. It's literally menacing because it doesn't want to get turned into a magical ritual. I mean. To be fair, I think it just has that look all the time. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a frog. Frogs do that. True. I, I think this is a good frog. That's, that's pretty powerful. Yeah. This is a pretty solid frog. This is a uh, high up there frog. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure I would put it above leapfrog. It's not above leapfrog, no. It's not above leapfrog. But like, I'm, I'm right now kind of like looking at spore frog and then looking at this and going like, well. Well, mm, you do both ah. sacrifice both. This has more mechanics that are froggy. I feel like than yeah, the frog I, does. I would put this number two. Yeah, they're, if they're one mana one ones with a sacrifice thing going on, well, this one doesn't really sacrifice. This is after it's dead. You get that yeah. uh, the drop. Yes, so. you're, you're, but you're a- after it's been to. killed and dissected. But the whole yeah. thing with the wither bloom stuff is sacrificing yeah. stuff. So this is literally a an ingredient for you doing the magic of sacrifice. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So all right. Yeah, the menace too. The menace also feels pre- it, being menaced by a frog is something that's not likely to happen. Being completely fair here, but you know, if we talk about menace from its mechanical angle, then yeah. Well, like I said, I like the thing of it's oh, it takes two people because it's going to be jumping around. Yeah, it's and slippery. Shit. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, speaking of interesting frogs tied to uh, witchery arts, uh, we've got Witches Familiar. Good frog. Real good frog. It's a pretty good frog. It's a frog that's standing above me and saying, pathetic. Is this the only vanilla frog uh, that we have, not period? Counting tokens. So far, at the very least, but... Interesting. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of this as the actual, like, only, like, card. Oh, no, there's actually one other. I just remembered the, uh, the very important one. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, but which is familiar is really good. They're all good. Sitting on a gravestone. Yep. Talking about Betrachomancy. Hell yeah. On that flavor yep. text. How good its warts are. I'd love to divine the future via frog. It's just a big, thick toad. Big, thick toad. Yep. This is even more chub than, uh, than the other chub toads. Chub toad. This could eat a bloated toad. Easily. Yeah. It would lose a fight against a chub toad, though. Can I be completely honest here? I the, the the genericness of this frog is something I actually very much appreciate. Yeah, same. It's it's a yeah. very good. Just looking at this frog makes me happy. 
I was talking earlier about how actually the more generic a frog gets, the more I'm yeah. inherently kind of into it, honestly. Yes. Because they're perfect creatures. I love them. Yep. Of course, it's just a three mana two, three. It is. I'm trying to figure out, like, it's somewhere like the bloated toad chub toad zone, but I don't know, like, where. I'd like it more than bloated. Toad. Of hefty toads, I like this one's look a lot. This thing I has like the- bloated toad a bit more, though. See, I like this one more just because it's got the bloated toad thing going on, but also it's a witch's familiar. Yeah. It's got a little bit of menace to this toad. This toad is friends with a witch, which. That's pretty froggy. Hashtag goals. I mean, I'm friends with a witch. Oh, to be a toad who is best friends with a witch. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, let's put it above bloated toad. Yay. All right. It's close, but. I do like bloated toad just being a real fat little guy. But yeah, yeah. So is this guy. He's even fatter. Yeah, but he's also bigger, like distinctly large. I think the other one's still he's large. Sitting on, I don't know. He's sitting on a gravestone. Yeah. And it's like, that's this thing is distinctly looks larger. Like as. I guess it could be a very small gravestone. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Foreshortening. It's not. That is not what foreshorten. That is scale. It is not foreshortening. Uh, next up uh, is Steeple Creeper. This is the worst frog. This is strictly worse than Leapfrog in every way. The fuck is this thing being a frog? Okay, it's, it's got, got frog legs. It's got and that's the it. tree frog legs. Yeah. This is and the worst all. frog. This is the worst frog. It just is. I'm sorry. It is. It is. It's not a bad snake. It's like it's it's you, they could have made this just a snake man. It would have been fine. Yeah, yeah, but they would, the, there's, there's snake people in Ravnica. No, but like a like a yeah, like for a, the freaks, like a the lab. Made. Exactly, but I mean he is a simic freak. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Put, bottomless list. Listen, I'm just saying, not a bad snake. Awful frog, just an absolutely dog shit frog. Yeah. Uh, sp- speaking of of men. Uh, Barag Befuddler. God, folks, it's a frog, man. It is a frog, man. We officially have frog men in magic now. I like this guy because it is just a Oh, frog. this is a, this is the good kind of frog man. Yeah. It's, it's where he's just, just a frog wearing, yeah, he's great. He's, he's just a frog wearing a cloak. They didn't yep. manify him. He is just a frog wearing a cloak. Yep. That's what of you note. want. Of note, not wearing pants. That is true. He's just wearing. He could a be though. Like he, he, he could, he could be, he be but he probably wouldn't. I look, can you actually claim that for for certain that this one wouldn't be wearing pants? Probably. Just because someone's not wearing pants and in any given one moment, I don't the think that, that means that they the won't. chafing. I don't think it's that bad. He's wearing clothes on every other bit. He could just like leave some of the rest of them out. Although on the other hand, he does have fucking little nephews, uh, jeans for each Correct. individual leg going on. Correct. He's couldn't wear his pants any lower. So he made individual was, pants for each one. Why are these literal- frogs so goddamn stupid every goddamn day? I was literally going to bring that up. Yeah. He's yeah. That's he's not going to wear pants. He does have little nephews jeans. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and agree. Yeah, you're right. So, how do, but how do you feel about the fact that he dislikes higher education? Is that a frog trait? I mean, does he dislike? Frogs can be kind of dumb. Does he dislike higher education? The flavor text says he is, he's menacing students that are trying to do student things. They're Who just, doesn't menace students? Yeah. I mean, he also flashes, which is jumping. He, he jumps out yep. of the pond, so that's great. He, yeah. He, and the other one's kind of more wizardry than anything, but that's fine. I'm fine with a frog being a wizard. I th- yeah, it yeah. might just be that those herbs are his herbs. Yeah. Okay, stop stop stealing be... his herbs. Don't touch his weed. <laughs> you damn kids, stay out of my stash. <laughs> the damp weed. Whose kids keep on breaking into our grow up. Uh, I like this guy a lot. Um, he's real good. He's a pretty good frog. How much do you like this frog, though? Because yeah, here's that's, the thing. That's I'm the not thing. putting it above Leapfrog. Yeah, I didn't think Correct. above Leapfrog. I don't even think necessarily above Unwilling Ingredient. He might be number three. I'm willing to put it above Spore Frog, though. Yeah. yeah, I think he's better than Spore Frog. It's close. All right. I'm right. If you got if you got a counter opinion, I'm, I'm all. No, I just really like witches familiar. I mean, they're hey, it's a good zone to be in. Don't get me wrong. 
No, no, I'm not saying. I just feel like Witch is familiar. Sure. Okay. Well, here's a very important frog here. The Gitrog monster. Oh, this is a fine, wonderful frog. Beautiful, beautiful frog. Uh, the most expensive frog on the list sometimes, probably. Or very fine, wonderful, terrible frog. I, th- it is a perfect horror frog. It is, it is a hypnotic, monstrous frog that lives in a giant pond in, on Innistrad and has a cult devoted to it. Because of its weird hypnotic power that it has that makes everybody mm-hmm. think the frog is wonderful. It makes ever dominates everybody and makes them all worship the glorious hypno toad. But man, it's yep. it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> the the Gerog monster is ridiculously good. It's the thing. I, I, I love for him. for a while the the lower page for Innistrad straight up listed him as the Gitrog Toad. And I feel like that's such a better name. They're I mean, it's real good. The Gitrog monster is a good name, but also the Gitrog toad. I mean, the Gitrog it, toad does kind of like make you th- not be immediately aware when they're talking about a toad. They're talking about a toad the size of like an elephant. Yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate the fact that they talk about the Gitrog monster and it turns out to be a toad. I appreciate that fact. Like people don't necessarily know that it's a, a toad or a frog, which, hey, that's fine. Yeah, I, I like the. This you get more preconceptions when being ta- called the Gitrog Toad that can be betrayed. When yeah. you're called the Gitrog Monster, you're never going to assume that it's friendly. Like if I called it the Loveland Monster, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, how do you feel about the alternate arts for this? Because we have both a uh, secret lair one as well as a. I believe that's a jump start. There's a ju- there's a judge. Oh, no, promo judge promo. Judge promo. Right. Okay. Yeah. Judge promo. They're fine. I don't like them as much as the original. Uh, I do like that it is a reference to Chub Toad. Yep. But also, the secret layer is cute. The yeah. secret layer is cute. It's very lonely. So, I like... It's the thing where, like, how do you balance the different frog tropes that we're all kind of dealing with here? And also the fact that this card is a one-turn combo that dominates the ADH sometimes. Oh, who cares? I, I, that, that is I like know. the least, least interesting part of this, I think. Like, yes, it's fun that it's like powerful, but like... I do like that it has Death Touch because it will just swallow anything. Mm-hmm. Even if it shouldn't. It's very large. 6x yep. for 5. I would probably put this below Leapfrog, and that's probably where I would put it. Uh, I think that's the Gitrog's hypnotism getting you. Really? Yeah. I like a horror frog. I do I, like. You do like, like yeah. a horror frog, but also I don't know. I like a horror frog, and I do like the Gitrog monster. Is the thing, but I don't know if I like it that much. Yeah. Like I do like it. It's it's definitely in like top six or so for me for sure. Yeah. But where did where, where, where you put it? Well, I don't um, like him as much as Barug Befuddler. I'm kind of like right there too, like either right above or below Spore Frog. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, what's your opinion of it compared to Witch is Familiar? I like it a little more than Witch is Familiar. Okay. Fair. That I know in my heart. Well, I mean, but I also, put, I do really like Witch is Familiar. I, I, would, I would put it near the, the top, so. Then you put it above Spore Frog. Suppose it goes above Spore Frog, then yeah, that's the science. That's that's how science works, folks. Yep. Uh, uh, uh Hezro. That that's another D and D one, right? I, yes, I think it's just a demon that happens to look like a frog. I believe that's the case. Yeah. They say, said, well, what's this demon look like? Well, it looks like a monstrous frog." And then all demons, I believe, in D and D are like they're not like they're not a race, so to speak. They're literally like forms things like morph in between. So like this thing will eventually turn into like a skeleton or something, because they they get like promoted into like looking like a skeleton. That's that's devils. Actually, is that devils? Devils promote from one to another. This is, demons, I think, get generated as they are. I thought frogs also, or I thought demons also promoted. I don't think they do because like a, a lot of the the really important ones have just always been the really important ones okay i've, I've looked into what the deal with the hazard is they just smell real bad i mean he does look like he smells real bad he's got demonic stench right there is his adventure his yeah. adventure in smelling bad 
but it, like frogs don't like smell that bad. No, frogs don't, but the the demon does. So he's probably a better demon than he is. Well, he's a better. Is he a better demon? He's a better devil than he is. If we're talking about Magic the Gathering terms, it's so on and so forth. It gets complicated when we do the D and D ones because demons and devils are the exact opposite. Yeah, I he he's not he's not good. Not great. Is he better or worse than Steeple Creeper? I mean, he's he better than I, Creeper. he looks like he looks froggy. He does look froggy. Yeah, he's definitely better than Steeple Creeper. Steeple Creeper. Um, Honestly, I think he's more froggy than Graceload. Yeah, I, I like him more than Graceload. I like him more than the Bark Ripper too, personally. But that's the you know it. I could agree with that. I mean, I don't like Bark Ripper, so hey, you're not gonna hear me complain. Yeah, it's it's not like we're. I'm, at least I kind of like, like, I kinda like him he, more than the Frog Lizard token. Hey, now, I, I wouldn't. He go looks there. really froggy. Turning something into a frog is very froggish. It is. I know. I'm just saying. Nah, I put froggy. it below the Lizard token, but yep, totally fair. Token, but I understand completely. Like, I do respect that this dude's got a big ass tongue. That's a frog thing that yeah. I, I can see where they're calling them. They look like frogs. It's more froggy than a lot of things. Sure. No, I get you. Uh, next up is troll bread guardian. So this oh. is a frog this guy again and a troll. <laughs> uh, he looks a lot I mean, like a he's frog. A better, we, we even said he's a better frog than a troll. He is a better frog yeah. than a troll, but also. He's, he's not, not that great of a, a frog either is the thing, though. Like, yeah. if you compare him to the other frogmen on this list, like, Barag Befuddler is so many miles, like, better than this thing. Like, he's fine. He's not, he's not terrible, but also he's not great. As far as, like, hybridization goes, it's fine. He does have good frog <laughs> eyes. That's true. Got frog eyes, but that's like that's the only thing that's froggy on his head. I think I like him worse than Hezro. Really? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's fair. I don't. I don't hate that. Okay. I mean, hey, I I, I would not it, put. It's, up, yeah. It's, I would. Yeah. I would have necessarily put him that much higher. So it's about in the right zone. I was thinking. Yeah. Like, it's, like we said, it's the thing with these whole simic hybrids is that they're less than the sum of their parts. Yep. Well, no, they're better than the sum of their parts because their their parts they're, just aren't. But they're, they're different than the sum of their parts, though. That's the thing. Time for another a nerd. It's that time, folks. Uh, it's <gasps> Erg Spawn oh. of Turg it's with two arts. Um, yep. I like that the way that Turg is named. They just took the first letter and moved it ahead to a U from T to U. Sure. I think that's really stupid. Yeah, it's another kind of horror frog. I mean, not not literally a horror. He's but not a horror me. frog. He just is in a swamp. He's a scary because Otari is a shithole. Uh, he, he's a horror frog, but not a frog horror. Yeah, I don't like that he's perching on a branch. His leg, his back leg situation has just got me. Just like yeah. it's real weird looking. Yeah, he's got like kind of got hands. like four arms instead you should, of. Uh, you should see legs. more leg. Honestly, it's kind of like um, if it's kind of like if you merge together a, a frog and an orangutan almost kind of, which I'm not really into. Like, I mean, he's a beast. He's a frog beast. So he's, if he's you actually had it be frog orangutan, then yeah, no, I'd probably be into that. But this oh, is ape? not. Yeah. Ex- yeah. Frape. Frape. Gape. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. I, yeah, I don't know. I do not like this guy. I'm sorry. Like it. I like. No, the, it's it's. Yeah, I like what he, I like what he represents more than what he is. You know, mm-hmm. the all art is fine. It's, it's more froggish, but it's just a stained glass window of a frog. Which actually, the more I say that, I'm actually kind of into that. Yeah, I was gonna say I kind of kind of into the the idea that somebody would do that. I would probably. Own, I is he somewhere like the Hezro range, the Hezro zone. Hezron. I I think I don't really like him much as a frog. I don't I don't dislike Erg. Like you know, his, if I'm, what yeah. I mean, the the character beast creature that is Erg is fine, but I don't really like him much as a frog. The mechanical yeah, identity that's... is not super froggy. I mean, it fits with it kind of like it's honestly it's it's more like a poke like a tip of the hat to get Rog than anything. Yeah, yeah. which is being horror frogs that are large and get strong. It's but he's, he's a much worse version of that, too. 
Yeah. I, I, the thing is like, I was thinking, I think I like it more than the frog lizard token, but that's like about, that's it. about like, where I'm at with it. Sure. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's about in the zone. Erg spawn of Turg is such a good name though. I'll, I got to give him that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hats off to, to creative. You did it at the good. Um, speaking of hats off, you did it. Uh, Crooked and Fibonacht. This oh, is man. it's another frogman, and it's a frogman in a retro space suit. And you know what? I like it. I love it. that. Uh, he he jumps. That is pretty good. Uh, and man. specifically, you put a hat on him. You can put a hat on him. I was gonna him. say you can put a hat on him. Uh, he's literally designed. You put a hat on him, and he goes like, "All right, bud, I'm going sky high, baby." I hope you put. Uh, I want to see him yeah. get really distracted by a fly and then try to, to you know, tongue it. Except the tongue collides with his uh, helmet. I want to see that happen. That'd be so so goddamn funny. I, he he looks good. The suit looks cool. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. I, also I do. Like a lot. But also, like, do I like him a lot because of the retro spacesuit or? I mean, it's, hey. Yeah. What would a frog wear, you know? You raise a good point. You raise a real <laughs> He is good currently point. wearing pants. This frog wearing it's a pants. Spa- it is a space suit. It is a space age polymer. There's no chafing involved. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You're, you're very true. You're very right. Space, nobody can hear you chafe. <laughs> you can't, nobody can hear that awful wet jeep sound. Oh, oh, oh thought about it when i finally got into this spacesuit i don't have sweaty balls no more yeah hmm. and he would he would have that accent yes i'm I'm really struggling though to think about it because i'm looking at the top list and like man i like a lot of these frogs have you got any flies for me that's all i eat i'm a frog hey man frogs yeah. eat many things frogs eat anything True. You can't you can't actually ask for do you have anything smaller than I am? I'll eat that. <laughs> I don't no. notice you have a child with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. All we have is the world's largest corn dog. That's too big. I can't eat that. That's bigger than me. <laughs> sir, what if you ate it like one bit at a time? It's like that's not how my biology works. <laughs> Can you cut it up into individual <laughs> corn dog chunks? <laughs> Stick in or out? In. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know a good hummer and who'll pay good money for that stick. Uh, all right, I love this guy. Uh, yeah. Um, I kind of really love this guy now. <laughs> the problem is that I... It feels too laser targeted for me to love him too much. No, and that's I, fine. I'd it was laser targeted. Of no, course, yeah, I'm actually turned it's... off a little bit by that. No, he's laser Not targeted. He's, he's laser targeted because he's in space. They need that. You pander to me. I'm fucking for it. <laughs> yeah, if Watsi I like wants, this guy a lot. Yeah, if Watsi just wants to make the perfect crab, like you can just say, like, hey, it's it's your crab, and it's like, yeah, it's wearing a little list. hat. It's great. He wears a hat. I mean, uh, you the perfect crab hat. in. If they were to design the perfect crab, it would be like a crab that can only mutate onto itself and it just got larger for everyone you did that to, right? So you could have an endless crab stack. Sure. Come on, Kiblatsi. You can do it. I believe in you. Um, Man, where do we put this thing? Huh. I like this guy a lot. I'm going to let you all <laughs> no, sort you're it basi- out. You're basically saying, you know, top of the list is what you're trying to I'm say. I'm not saying top no. of the list, but I've got something in my brain. I I like the earnestness of Burag Befuddler more. So that's exactly where I was at as I like this right below the Burag Befuddler. I, I'm fine with that. That's that, kind of that, that's that's honestly where like, I was thinking was just like just slightly obviously rug. obviously I love a toad in a, uh, in a space suit. Uh, like clearly there's no chance that, that wouldn't be the case. The, the pun in the name is also incredibly good. Crooked and Fibonacci. Yeah, it's very good. Next up is Plax Caster Frogling. 
laser frog. The weird laser frog, right? Yeah. Yes, it's a frog that shoots goop out on guys. Uh, it is a mutant frog, but all that seemed to be do is give it the ability to shoot out goop, and it's got a little bit of hair. It's got a wonderful little do. Yeah. <laughs> it's got the ability to shoot out goop in the form of intense lasers. Hey, man, are you saying that he is just psycho powering the goop? He's applying duck sauce directly to things around him. Yeah. I mean, I like this guy. I don't, I don't know. He's not like top by any means, but I like this guy. As far as Simic frogs go, he's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, they didn't graft an armadillo into him. So true. Armadillo feels like one of the better things to graft onto a frog. If you ask me, though. like a shell. I mean, yes, frog. but I don't think Ravnik has armadillos. That's fair. I'm just saying, like, think about a one of those desert round boy frogs, you know, the ones that are just yeah. like orbs with legs yeah, and just put frog. an armadillo in there. And then, like, yeah. ooh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I think I like this more than Hayes frog. Yeah, I could see that. That's about yeah, where sure. I put him. I'm not. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could, I'm yeah. Not that. I, yeah, for that. I wouldn't put him above chub toad, but he's, he's pretty good. Frogling is also just a good. Hold on. I just made a realization. Go yeah. On. Black class caster frogling is currently inflating its neck sack to fire the laser. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. 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 That's good as hell. That's that's rad. I like that a lot. Yep. Real good. He, he is croaking out the beam. He's croaking out the juice. Mm hmm. All right. So now we're going to hit a very complicated question here. Uh, how okay. good of a frog is polywog symbiote semicolon? You mean. Babagodzilla? <laughs> How good of a frog is Babagodzilla? <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's, you know, be let's be completely honest here. Babagodzilla is a pretty good frog. Babagodzilla being, is yeah, a being very fair. good frog. Like, if it, like, Godzilla is its own thing, but Babagodzilla is fairly frog like. Oh, uh, Babagodzilla. But also, I really do like the look of Polywog symbiote, and it's specifically something that like encourages you to mutate. Frogs mutating in other things and mutating into frogs, it's good. I like it. Yeah. It, it, frogs are known for their metamorphosis. There's not a lot of cards that specifically depict the tadpole to frog cycle. Uh, this is a card that is specifically focused on that aspect of frogs, and I, I'm into that. Yeah. That's pretty also, good. And also, it's Papagodzilla. Yeah, also it is also Babagodzilla. Godzilla. It always knew it would be destined to be more than a frog, such as turning into Godzilla or Babagodzilla. Also, uh, frogs are pretty prone to mutating, right? Yeah. Yeah. God, though, where do you put polywogs in? Yeah. There's like a big range in my brain where it could go. I, if, if I were to be completely honest, I would probably put it above... I'd probably put it above bloated toad. Uh, Not much above bloated toad, like just above bloated toad. I wouldn't. So I don't I'm, think I would. I'm at right above species gorger. Ooh, okay. We're not okay. wildly apart. I was actually thinking below chub toad, so just above plax cluster that we just okay. put down. We're we're in, a, we're in a pretty tight zone. We're not that far apart. So I would I could see going to just below chub toad, maybe. Yeah, I could see that. All right. Yeah, sure. Not a bad place to be. Good for you, Polywog Symbiote. S -s I'm not going to slash Baba Godzilla in there. Just Baba Godzilla. But it's also... It's it slash Baba Godzilla. It is Baba Godzilla, though. Baba Godzilla. Grolnok the Omnivore. So uh, this is this is another weird cult frog from Innistrad. <laughs> yeah, so, th so to give some context for folks, uh, this is literally... Someone was on the black market sold to a cult what might be an egg of the Gitrog. Maybe. And then it's part of an ongoing cult war between the guys that worship that giant slug. Giant slug. <laughs> so there's Grolnok on one oh, side. Oh, Toxrill? And there's yes. Toxrill on the other side. The cult, of, the cult of Grolnok and the, the cult of Toxrill are both like, we're going to fight these things eventually, right? Yeah, they're they're <laughs> feuding. They're, they're they're feuding over their weird like obsessions here. Uh, this is an example. It literally has frog tribal. It's it's yep, it, does. Yep. it is important to notice that this has frog tribal, which it's yeah, it's better than just frog tribal though. It uses croak counters. It yep. does. It really does. And it basically it eats stuff 
and then it pukes them back out again. Also, mm-hmm. its alternate art is kind of terrifying. Yes. Yes, that is a, that is a freaky looking frog. Like the part with the alternate art you gotta look at is look under his hand. He's basically just squashing a guy down. Yeah. And his belly is full of skeletons. In much the same way that Toxrel uses uh, slime counters, they both have bespoke, you know, flavor counters for them. Yep. Yep. Grolnock's uh, pretty good. I like this guy. Grolnock's pretty good. He, I, I kind of like, like Grolnock more than Gitrog, honestly. Really? Interesting. Yeah. I both, also like it more than Gitrog. They're both good horror frogs. I'm not, I'm not opposed to this. They're both so. good horror frogs, but there's more frog going on with Grolnock, both in appearance and also in its like mechanics. Sure. I, I would. Do you put it above Crooked Amphibonaut, though? No, I don't. <laughs> I would not either. No. <laughs> I like you can see the outline of the guy trying to, that's inside of his mouth right now. True. Like, yeah. Look, look like at his yeah. throat there. I think that's real cool looking. Like, it, it's, he's in there and like he's tried to get out. One of his arms is hanging out, but that's the best he could do. Yep. And again, it's it's Gitrog slash Chub Toad ref. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guys, we have to talk about Kami. It's Kami. <gasps> Kami. Kami. Uh, Kami. Kami is a n- frog that's ridden around by ninjas. By Tatsunari. By Tatsunari, who is, you know. Who found Kami in a sewer and raised Kami to be his partner. Yeah. He's a giant frog. He's a ninja frog. In that, yeah. like the classic trope aspect. So, uh, interestingly, I will point out that the Kami token looks as it does, but it, but I will also just say, hey, uh, there are also two different v- depictions of Kami on the Tatsunari cards that look nothing like the token. Yep. But I also really like how Kami on the token looks. So, hey, you basically mm-hmm. got your, your own choose your own adventure of how you'd like to mentally model what Kami looks like. Yep. Uh, I will say you do kind of have to take into account that Kami also specifically does interact with Tatsunari in the sense that Tatsunari actually has a frog jump mechanic where Tatsunari riding Kami will do a jump. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is great. Very good. It's, she, she, she's a fr- sweet looking frog. Yeah. She's a, yeah, she's a pretty solid frog. Just pretty much just a solid frog, though, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty solid. But yeah, I'm not sure where that gets her. Pretty solid, but it's a pretty solid frog. Love species, Gorger. Yes, I would agree with that. Yeah, that sounds about Love right. Love haze frog. I would yeah. say so. Okay, then. Personally, I would also put it above Plax class of frogling. Then. Okay. What about Babagodzilla? I don't think I'd put it above Baby Godzilla, though. Okay. Yeah, Baby Godzilla is doing something unique. Mm-hmm. Sure. So, I mean, not to say Kami is bad by any stretch, but also, no, no, I feel like I would, I feel like I would like a bespoke Kami card more than the token is the thing. There'd be more juice to get in with that. Though sure. I do appreciate that if Kami, the one of the advantages of Kami being a token is that if Kami unfortunately meets her uh, tragic end. You can just basically say, and here's, she's back. She didn't actually, she just left. She didn't die. Kami never truly dies. Or just, Tatsunari just found another Kami. That's Kami too. <laughs> yeah, Kami too, the sequel. <laughs> Kami Jr. Jr. <laughs> sure. I'm fine with that. A Nurid Merc Diver. And our zombie Nurid. Mm. Is it... Kind of hate how this guy looks. I'm merely comparing this to Wretched Anurid. It's better. It's better than Wretched Anurid. Y- yes, I would agree with that. But I kind of like it just a little more than Gray Slod. But that's kind of where I stop. Yeah, I kind of don't. I kind of I like Gray Slod more than this. Sure. I think I agree. I think I like Gray Slod more, just barely. Right. Sure. Merc Diver. Whip Dunk Frog. So it's a jumping that's frog. Right. And it's got great yep. frog art of the frog punching through. Yeah, like a man with his tongue. Yeah, it's like a Castlevania frog. 
A frog that's using its tongue as a weapon right here and now. This is, I think, actually the first one out of all of these so far. Um, in terms of depicting it specifically in the art, sure. Yeah, it's like I'm amazed that it took this long, really. For I know that it we're going in a random order, so it's not like yeah. it's uh this but was you know what I mean. This, this is two sets after the, the cart frog tongue, so mm-hmm. But yes, it does hop. Uh, it is yep. currently stabbing that guy. Yep, he's really getting some juice out of him. Yep, and he has long man arms. He does have really long man arms. I was just looking at that. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, I mean, he's very manish. This card is is what I would consider fine, not great. You know, it's not yeah. bad. It's not. It's not. It's it's fine as far as frogs go. I would. I would probably think the think fact it. that it jumps gives it something. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's not, and it's, it's also more froggy than a lot of these other ones. And the th- here's the thing. The thing that's uh, that's I really would love to see mm. is I would love to see this guy animated and do Ridley's taunt where he just straightens up and smash ultimate. Oh, it would be ro- so uncomfortable to look at. Oh, right? ma- oh I don't like that. Cause like the way it's standing, the the way that its legs look, it kind of almost it looks just like has man legs, yeah, yeah. But it it's using all of that to really, really approximate the frog form again, you know. He so I can respect like a, the way it, he looks almost like a ninja turtle. <laughs> I can kind of see it, kind of. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, I would put this guy like above, like just only above, like species gorger. Hayes Frog also jumps in and does Frog. Uh, and- I put it below Frog Might. Okay. Mm. Like Species Gorger also has good Frog mechanics. Frog Might. I also like it a good- little more than Species Gorger. So. Okay. Okay. Fair. It is very funny that he is stabbing that guy, though. It is. It, you know, yeah, with, his, I, with his whip. Yeah, the whip tongue. The, listen, I have said it many times before. Fro- whips are leather swords. Okay. Yeah. And if a, you can stab a, with a sword, a, you can stab with a piercing whip weapon. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, it is important then for us to talk about Frog Kin Kidnapper. Yes. This is a frog that sticks a man in a bag and you yep. can pay to get him out. He's a rogue. Yep. So, it is, it is uh, another whack. Frog get into my sack. I, I, it's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's an idea. I'll put it that way. It's an interesting <laughs> idea. Here's the thing and why I actually kind of like it. Okay. Of it's a, it is a great elaboration of a frog eating something whole and keeping it inside of its maw. You know, yes. it's just it's moved its sack from its throat and in, into its gut into a burlap bag. Into a burlap bag, which is actually pretty froggy when you get down to it. Yep. You could have the same exact uh, like theming though, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm saying you could have a same exact theming on like a pelican guy, a pelican. Oh, rogue. Yes, I like that. Well, I just also like a pelican man to stick a guy in his mouth. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that too. Sure, we'll see that eventually. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you was a fish. <laughs> I love this guy, just for the record. Yeah, he's good. I always get shit because I like the art on these. He's fine, but also I'm just saying it's like it's a it's a it's an idea, not necessarily a complete concept. I'm sorry. And yet, I- here we are. So I'm sorry. I respect artists putting having a chance to put all this lo- time and effort into their art. I think you'll find. How do you know Mark Hagen's not really good at that? How do you know that's not his best? I'm just saying. I think a lot of these people spend a lot of time painting these arts, and I think you should respect it more. I do, but also I respect this. I it, it's I do not dislike it. I do not love it necessarily. It, I would love to see a finalized version of Rock yes, and Kidnapper. Exactly is the thing. I would like to see. The I, I, I do like the idea. I do yeah. think it's a good drawing of a frog, though. Sure. I'm not, it's a I'm, fine drawing of a it's frog. It's a fine drawing of a frog. I do notice that they are avoiding drawing the back end, though. It's, he's crawling up the sack. I, I think they're also avoiding He's kicking the, the guy in the sack. They're, they're, they're freaking Rob Liefielding over here, is what I'm saying. How dare drawing, you? Drawing a frog's back end is too erotic for TV. We can't, <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> So, 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 Red, you're, you're the one that seems to be the most, you know, uh, enthused by Frog can Kidnapper. We're, we're, we're. I like it more the Whip Tongue Frog. Oh, yeah, sure. 
Yeah, sure. that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I, I'm not opposed to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, 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 for a second, Pharaoh well, is the best frog. I'm just saying, I like it. I think it's <laughs> but, a good frog. Man. Uh, if the way you were saying it, I was thinking, it's like, are we going to really get to like, it's better than Crooked Amphibble Fibble now? now. I'd be like, you're, Hell no. you're fucking insane. <laughs> What's wrong with your brain? He's great. I What's love frog it. with your brain? Oh, a nerd brush hopper. Oh, this guy. I love this guy. Yeah, this guy's fine. As far as the nerds go, he's fine. He's jumping. He's great. He jumps. He does jump. You discard cards to make him jump. He was a powerhouse back in the day. Now nobody gives a shit about him. I mean, it's a three man of three four is also not still it's which not as wonderful, but he's a discard outlet, which is ain't bad. Yeah. No, he's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, three man of three four with no downside is actually pretty rare aside yeah. from being, you know, two, two colors at the time, I guess. Yeah. They, sh- they should put this guy in modern. See what happens. Nothing, nothing, <laughs> I mean, will happen. nothing. Yeah, he wouldn't do yeah. anything in modern, but correct. Uh, That's the I big mean, thing. Would, he's would, he's would, only like vintage legal. It's like, well, great. Yeah. I would play him in a standard, maybe sometime. Like if there was That's the right. That's where he standard. saw most of his play. Not standard. Sorry, I meant limited. Uh, I could see the yeah, right yeah, environment right. for to oh, yeah. play this in the limited easy. You know. Yeah. yeah. Again, he's he's real good in judgment. He's real good in uh, Odyssey block. Hmm. So he's an air jumper. Yep. He is a jumper. I like his luck. We have a lot of good jumping effects. I think he's, he's got a good luck. He's probably the best looking out of all the anorids I've seen so far, personally. That's my opinion on it. Sure. His ears are awfully large. You know? It's for hearing. His ears are awfully big, though. Yeah? I'm just saying. Yeah? Some of them got big ears. Very large ears. He's like the elephant of frogs. Sure. He's bigger than an elephant. He's a 3 4. The elephant's only a 3 3. That's true. I like him a lot. I think he looks good. I like the shine on his skin. I, I think I like him the most out of all the aneurids so far. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I would agree with that. I would probably put him bo- just below Kami. I'd put him below Haze Frog. I would put him above Haze Frog. Ooh, interesting. Is that just where you put him? Just like just below, above Haze Frog? Just above Haze Frog. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine okay. with that. I'm for that. That's fine. I don't yeah. mind that. Hey, but Haze Frog also jumps. It's a frog fog, but yeah, fair. Rush Hopper. Krakenura. You know, as far as all these, like, high, the, the crasises go. It's all right. He's, act- he's actually pretty all right. He, this is a pretty good life. one. The crocodile f- is like. He just happens the to be. A- he just happens He's, to be a long frog, basically. It's a long frog. Yeah, the crocodiling is pretty surface, if you get, uh, know I, what I, I mean. I will right? say like, he does have a second frog face growing out of the side of his face. I'm kind of into, actually. That's yeah. pretty good, yeah. He's got reach, because he's got his tongue. He's got evolve. I appreciate frogs mm-hmm. evolving. Frog evolving. Yep. Give it up for frogs. I'm always... Millions of years of evolution. Frogs. I, it's, I'm going to go ahead and like, let's look directly at the Simic ones here, because I think this is my favorite of the frog Simic cr- uh, creatures yeah. so far. Well, the, the highest rate of frog Simic thing we have right now is Plax Caster Frogling at 13. Okay. Um, well, no, that's, that's not a Simic hybrid. That's a Simic mutant. Yes. Uh, that's what the, they were back then. Yeah. But yeah, they yeah. didn't really do the hybrid stuff. It was just a mutant. Of, of, yeah. Of, I'm of, saying of it's the, the best out of the Simic hybrid. So the, of, the, of the hybrids, the next one, it's the, the species scorcher. Yeah. Okay, I do like him more than Species Scorcher, actually. Same. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would... It, he, it's using its tongue a little bit more I, like a, a frog would. I would put this actually right above Haze Frog. Right above Haze Frog. Yeah, I can see that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I can, yeah, see, that. I, I can see that. The Simic finally made a good hybrid. Congratulations, Simic. How dare you? <laughs> How you made a good hybrid one? by leaving it mostly a frog. How That's kind of the thing. Like... Like I said, it's it's surface leveled crocodile, right? But it's still mostly frog underneath that. So look, you get a you get a crocodile seasoned frog. Look, I respect and love and fear and hate the Sharkdo crab. Mm-hmm. But also, it's not a very good sh- crab. It's not also a great it's shark true. if you think about it either. It's an OK shark, honestly, out shark, of all the, the qualities there. I feel like it's best at shark. Octopus has some good qualities to it, but I I don't think that there's much octopus going on on Shark to Crab. 
very good at sneaking. Bit, but... It's very good at sneaking into places and hiding. I guess. Anyway, sharks can do that if they wanted to. Yeah, if they wanted to. A Nurid Swarm Snapper. This is my fa- this is my favorite Anurid art, by the way. Long tongue. I like this guy a lot. Oh, that is the most froggy out of all the Anurids for sure. As far as art goes, he's got a decent anorid mechanic, it, or sorry, frog mechanic. It, it does yep. have reach. He's got the he's got reach. He can puff himself up and block another thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's perfectly serviceable. It looks like a frog. It's got good feet. It's got the it's got look the gross toad bloat, which I'm always appreciative of. You don't yep. have to see teeth on it. Always respect yep. that on an anorid. And also, he's stabbing a guy with his tongue, which is very funny. Which is this is like the third one of these in a row. Hey, man. Yeah, no, I actually would. Well, I mean, actually, if I talk about like just the quality of the art, I actually liked the other aneurid more, but the, this is the most frog like out of the end. Design wise, so I like this one a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a good skin texture going on. He's got that frog bloat. It's got a good mostly shape. frog body shape. Yep. Good shape. Those toxin glands are huge. I want to poke it with a needle. I might just put this actually just above Croconura. Like just but like right next to Nerd Brush Hopper. I put it above an Nerd Brush Hopper for that reason. I put it above Kami. Oh, you really all the way above Kami? I wouldn't put it above Kami. That's just saying that's where I put it. Okay. He's got a lot of good luck. Got good luck, good abilities. I like him. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Swarm Snapper. I stab that. I want to stab it. Uh, it's Toxin Sacks. Don't the, do it. Uh, don't. I want to do it. Don't, don't. I'm gonna be real mean. I'm gonna be rude. Don't. 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 Froggy fighter at the gate. Draw your sword and meet your fate. It's time for us to encounter the Jade Avenger. They did the joke about the chub toad and made him actually a samurai with actual Bushido. <laughs> I love He's got this. a little hat! I love this guy. I really love this oh, guy. Oh, man. <laughs> See, he's, okay. He's jumping, even. Look at him. I adore a frog wearing a suit of armor. Like, hey, ask me real quick. Who's my favorite character in Chrono Trigger? Who's your favorite character in Chrono Trigger? Robo, but frog is a close second. Yes. <laughs> Same. Jade Avenger is uh, is fantastic. I love this little guy. He, he's great. He's got he's got both Katana and Wakasashi out. He's fucking. He's got that die show going. It's got a sketch variant you can look at. It's pretty cool. He's so good. You can see him jumping on those lily pads. He's so good. He's so good. And again, entirely a joke. It's it's I a good him. joke. Because Chub Toad has Bushido, and this Jade Avenger is literally a toad with a with frog with Bushido. God, look at him hop on those lily pads. He's so tiny. I adore that. He's a tiny samurai. Or the lily pads big. Who could say? I mean, it's way cute. I don't think this is a frog, samurai. man. I think this is just a frog. I the think frog, this is just a frog, yeah. The frog that just learned the arts, the, the arts, the bushido. Yep. Yes. <laughs> well, be a frog yokai. You know that that could be a thing, but it's just a frog still. <laughs> yep. Well, while you eat flies, I studied the blade. Yep. <laughs> while while you laid eggs, I practiced abstinence. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You don't know if this frog frocks or not. <laughs> now that there's snakes at the gate, you, who do you turn to me at your hour of need? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, snakes are the ones that eat the toads, and then the toads defeat the the slugs. But the slugs then melt the the the, the snakes. If I remember right? Yes, that's what he's saying. Is the snakes are here to eat them? And then the he's got a sword. Okay, got that's it. why he's got a sword. <laughs> got it. Um, Come into my house, will you, snake man. bastards? Oh man, I do I do not know where to put this guy. Like, come into of- my house, hop onto my furniture, call me honorless. <laughs> How dare you, <laughs> Jade uh, Avenger? For me personally, is above Crooked and Fibon- Fibonacci. Uh, uh, at the very least, I am for I'm me. Very torn. You know that this um, is more targeted at me for this one. So here's yeah. the thing. I was actually right below Crooked and Fibonacci. I, I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm so torn. I'm like looking at Crooked and Fibonacci and just mentally viewing Jade Avenger jumping back and forth above it. 
I just really like Crooked and Fibonacci and the jokes with the corn dog. <laughs> it's true. It's very scientific. <laughs> that's that's the manor skeleton clause. We can't do yep. this. That's how it works sometimes. Jade Adventure does look great, also, I will say. It's Nick card it name does. Is, it's real good art. The, the card name is also great because it's so ambiguous that it's a frog, also, which so few of these other ones are. They usually just have frogling. Some other thing in the name Hopper, but it's just like it's a Jade Avenger. We're like, ah, oh, shit, their Jade Adventures come. Oh, it's just a, it's just a frog. Oh shit! Uh, draw your sword and meet your fate. I'm yeah. I need to draw my sword and meet my fate. Yep. I think I'm gonna put Crocodile Fimba not above it. Just, it's so close. It's uh, just, it's so let, close. Let the record know that I love Jade Avenger. We all Look, love Jade Avenger. That's why it's Jade number Avenger. five. Yeah. For what it's worth, if if anyone had agreed with me, I would have also ag- argued for above Barag b- a Befuddler, but no, we that's know. me. <laughs> sure. We know. Time for a revisit of Gitrog, this time in a digital format. It's Gitrog, Horror of Java. They say the Gitrog lives in like Java. Yeah. So this kind of tied more to the like, horror st- tropes. I don't like the look of it as much. Like it's more, it's simultaneously more so horrifying. So the, the but implication like here is he's getting all eldrazi up. Yes. Mm-hmm. But, but also, I don't like that as much. Same. I, I kind of, I get it. Um, it has more of the regular frog body shape here. Yes. But then they added greebles instead of he's, the way that's the frog monster ember cool is tentacles a, and extra eyes yeah. and yeah. I don't like the green. As opposed though. to the way that Gitrog normally is just like, okay, they're calling that a frog because it's the thing that's the closest it's like. It right? was most likely was a frog during the the whole, you know, the travails. That was the big thing, was a lot of like the normal ass animals were fucking mutating and they went up mm. the friggin' coast. Yep. Gotcha. During the unseen apocalypse. There was just a big tide of just giant monsters going up the shoreline. I do like the mechanic behind this of like, yeah, no, you, someone can sate it every turn. I do like that. But I, I, basically everything about this Gitrog, I don't like as much as a regular, as original Gitrog monster. It, it's no like thing. the thing we ran into with the crabs we're getting eldrossified. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's I feel like a, a get a frog with two sets of teeth like that. Well, technically three. There's actually more mouths in there, but you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. yeah. It's uh it loses some of the frog energy going on. Yeah. It's more horror than frog. Yep. Yeah. So I would say I'm I'm putting it like below probably the Anurades above Krakenura. Oh, I, I'm way below that. I'm Same. way. I, I'm below okay. like Erg okay. spawn of Same. Erg. Oh yeah, you know when you say that, I, I think I do. About I more, do I like it more than more. I do like it more than the troll bread guardian. Hmm. Is that where you would put that? I would actually thinking like just. I put it. Erg. I put it above Hezro. I put Durf, it. Above yeah, Hezro. I I missed Hezro. That's me. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Our last D and D frog. It's the frog Hemoth. So this okay. is okay. Another horrific giant frog monster. Frogmen worship it. Is this a frog monster? Looking at it, it's like not really. It's got it's a frog wet, It's DNA. got a tongue. That's about it. it it's got ha- frog eyes. It's got frog. Yeah, it's got frog eyes. You know. Yeah. Hang on, I'm re- I'm looking into it. As I understand it, it. it just as just a big frog monster that frog cults worship. Yep. The bully wugs worship them as gods. Yes. And it just gets bigger as it eats more stuff, which is very frog feeling. That's pretty froggy, but like, I kind of, I don't hate its art. I like the art, you know, individually, but I, I don't like the, this, this type lined frog. It earnestly. Dimin- it, I don't mind it being type frog, but it does diminish the frogginess. I'll, I'll grant you. It's it's called a frog hemoth. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's called a frog hemoth. I don't think it deserves to be called a frog hemoth. Well, take that up, Gary Gygax. I I would take up a lot of shit with Gary Gygax. <laughs> I would get into a fist fight with Gary Gygax. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you would. I, I still, I, I honestly, I like it better than Hezro, and that's about it. I kind of like Hezro more than this. 
Same. Okay. How much more than this? Just, just enough. Sure, yeah, that's that's just, good just enough. enough. Yeah, just enough. Yeah, Tro- enough. Uh, Trollbred Guardians is worse enough. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm fine with it as a hemoth. I don't think it's a good frog. Well, if if you cast a spell that fucked up frogs, right? I think this would yeah. be affected by the thing that would fuck up frogs. I think it's got enough in its DNA that it's like, okay, it's technically a frog. My sword of plus two against frogs would work on it. Yes. Favorite enemy frog on my ranger is, uh, okay. will work on this thing. Yep. Sure. It's just froggy enough. Yep. Frog enough for it to work. I'm going to get then semantically demand that my plus two, uh, favorite enemy on frogs works on all amphibians. Then thank you. <laughs> sure. Fair enough. How many salamanders are in D and D? Uh, more than you'd expect. I mean, how much do you think I expect? One. I was expecting like three. Fair. Next up is the Morgue Toad. This oh, is a Morgue Toad. This is a very squishable toad. Yep. I did a whole video about how squishable it is. I appreciate it. Its mouth looks silly, but you want to know something? I find that funny. I don't hold it against it that it looks silly. Yeah, well, because a, it looks silly, it has frog energy going. Yeah. You know, it, it looked well. It looks silly in the sense that silly parentheses not exactly that frog like, but it's also very funny. It does not look like a frog midair jumping. Squeeze this guy, get all of his squeezins out, and use that to power my powerful uh, blue and red rituals. Yeah, literally, Nico Bolas's stool deck, so you can summon Nico Bolas easier. Yes, you can squish mm-hmm. a, a, a toad to get Nico Bolas to show up. As far as squishable frogs go, it's pretty good. I like him. Yeah, he's fine. Um, I like that he's hopping around. That's yeah. pretty good. Frogs do that. I think I might like it less than bloated toad, though. I like it less than bloated toad. That's for sure. Yeah. You like it substantially less than bloated toad? I, uh, I like it more than polywog symbiote. Same. That's exactly where I was at. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. That's not, that's not below like, chub toad. I appreciate that we're, we're wild. We're not wildly divergent this time. We're all just kind of like, yeah, frogs. Yeah, frogs. Makes sense. Frogs are great. Yeah. We all have frog yeah, opinions. We, we love opinions frogs. And we love frogs specifically, you know, and how frogs work. Yep. Yeah. All right. It's time for us to talk about what I consider the ultimate Simic frog. It's finally time to talk about the Omnibian. It's a frog that turns other things into throgs. Yep. Does turn other things into frogs. It stares at things with its froggishness and they turn into a frog. That's this great. is a three-eyed frog I can respect, unlike Frog Hemoth. He looks great, too. He just looks good. He's just a three-eyed big frog. Talking about frogs that stand above me and call me pathetic, this is one that does that for sure. Yeah. This frog will stare at you, and in, in order to protect itself, it turns you into a frog so you don't threaten it. Well, Although, so that, actually, it's so that its we, predators will go for it and for you instead. That's true, but still. The, th- the thing, though, is that if it, if it does do that and it gets into a fight anyway, they kill each other. Well, that's true of most frogs. Yeah, fr- frog on frog annihilation. Why must frog hate frog? Why were we reborn just to suffer? Like those frogs, <laughs> you, those frogs you see that have like tried to eat another frog, but are so big that it ruptured the frog? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, yeah like that anaconda that ate a, a, an alligator not an alligator yeah. a crocodile yeah this is a good frog it's a pretty good frog it's not like top frog but it's a good frog yeah it's real it's good real it's, solid it's, frog. It's, it's the thing of like well turning a a frog turning other things into a frog isn't a very frog thing but it's a pretty good frog i don't know like i think things things being turned into frogs as as we've discussed is yes, a good thing. that is good but it's it's my thing is oh a f- frog turning another frog into a turning thing into a frog that's weird it is a I th- weird I, it's weird and non-standard but i think it works still it's a, I like, think i'm that, not hating on it i'm just saying it yeah. is a little weird it's like three frogs, eyes on a frog is a little weird but also i respect it yeah frogs that want to turn other things into frogs i think that's more like this is a frog villain, you know, this is, this is a mean frog that wants to do that kind of thing. It wants to spread a plague of frog. 
Because it wants more frogs to exist. I think it just wants one more frog. I think it probably just wants one more frog, but you know what I mean. In the case, yeah. there was like more of them. Yeah. Yeah. I the think... frog Gundam spreads frog cells and other things to make them, you know, part of it. <laughs> yes. Yep. yep. But where do it go? I like it more than Spore Frog. I like it less than which is familiar. I also like it less than which is familiar. Just less or or just less just below, which is familiar. Okay. I would probably put it below bloated toad, but that's just because I like bloated toad. I mean, if you, if you guys want to try and make an argument, I can see it. I'm, you know, it's I don't think the there's any range. argument that I can I, really do for I that aside from, I could see it below bloated toad. Okay. That's, that's if, if you guys are on that page, I, I'm not, that's in the same range where I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be. Yep. No, that's put off where I'm at with it. Yeah. I, l- I want to just pick up bloated toad with my hands and just like look to like stare into it, like into its eyes and just like really think. I can't do that with Omnibian. There's too many eyes. Sure. Noxious toad. I keep pulling this guy out of set boosters. That is, that's very strange. He's been on the list for like six sets now and I keep pulling him out. Which is a weird thing. It's just a frog that when it dies, each opponent discards a card. Yeah. It just looks weird. I think that's why they keep putting it in there. It just looks weird. Sure. It's a fine looking card. I'll, I'll say that it's, it fits within the trope of frogs that you do sacrifice or have die. It's not, yeah. a, one, it's not a wonderful example of that, but it's, it's within that trope. Yeah. It is just a frog. Yeah. It's kind of just a frog, but like, I'm not as enthused about this just a frog, if you know what I mean. How do you feel about it being horned? There's a couple, there's like at least one horned frog, right? Like that's the thing that exists already. Like a rhinoceros frog? Something like that. I mean, you're just inventing shit now. No, I'm just saying like it's got this this weird barb on its mouth. It does, yes. It's it's like like a rhinoceros frog. It's to stop other frogs from eating it. You know, because the poison isn't enough. Okay, it has the nose horn, but the otherwise horned frogs do exist. Sure, sure. The nose horn is unique. Has something more taken from a horned uh, iguana. I'm sorry, chameleon, horned. not iguana. I was thinking you're talking about a horned lizard, horned toad. Well, yeah, which is, a liz- which is a lizard. Yep. Honestly, I'm not wildly thrilled by this. Like, it's fine, but I this would- is—it's weird because other instances of this is basically just a frog get me hooting and hollering, saying like, "Yeah, I love those guys." And then this one is just kind of like, "Yeah, it's all right." It's generically frog. Visually, it's just not doing it for me, in all honesty. If, it, if I had a different depiction here, I might be into it. But, I'll, but what's going on here? Ah, I would probably put it below Papercraft Decoy. Yeah, same. I mean, I'd put it below um, Hayes Frog, probably. That's, that's, below Hayes Frog is substantially above where I'm at. Um, no, and, I'm like, with you, Zorak. Like, I like, would put what it. What did you say? Below papercraft decoy. Papercraft decoy. Whoops. I I was reading Plaxcaster Frogling. Sorry. No. I yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That's yeah. I agree with Zorak. Yeah. Sure. Below paper papercraft uh, decoy. Noxious toad. Don't know why. Something about this toad. Just. I just don't like. I mean, it. it might be. He's just got his vibes are rancid. Noxious even. So I, I guarantee, I promise, I did not try setting it up so this is one of the last frogs. Uh, sure. It's Yargle. Yeah, it was going to be Yargle. Yargle, Glutton of Urborg. Not the last frog, but close to the last frog on this list. So here's the thing. Yargle is great. But yeah, Yargle's, Yargle's more great as a character than as he is as like a frog. Uh, I will say... That I do like that Yargle is just constantly eating. Yes, very froggishness. Mm-hmm. He will eat more- anything that fits in his mouth, and his mouth is gigantic. Yes, he's huge. I'm he not so. Eat. I'm not so better. proud to not have enjoyed the the love Yargle got. I, yeah. I I enjoy that quite a lot. As far as like people like taking a you know a meme and running into the ground, it's all right. We got a secret layer out of him. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Yargle Day. I love him having sword splash airs. I, I yeah. think that one's great. Yeah. He, he's a big vanilla frog that is also a ghost. Yeah, I, of course. The, the, the big fun thing about Yargle is that he's got a very, very weird power toughness line. 9-3. Yep. Amazing. Yep. 
God, I want to fling this guy at someone. <laughs> That's pretty frog like, right? Like wanting to toss some toss it at someone. Sure. Just gripping him by like, you know, his tiny feet and just his tiny, the guy. his tiny feet to the size of a man. Yes. Well, yeah, that's why I say comparatively to the rest of him. Yes. It would be funny. Yeah. Like I said, it's not not he is great, but also I don't think he's necessarily in the top region of this list. It's not like the thing is the Yargle is he's, he's, all, he's just he's also not in the bottom. Oh God, no, list. no, he's, no, of course not. Yeah. I would probably put him like just above Kami. Mm, I think I put him below Kami. Like, in okay. fact, I would say just, I would below say Kami. just below Kami. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Cause like, I love Yargle. Don't get me wrong, but Yargle's not Yargle's really great. all yeah. that froggy when you get down to it, aside from his like consumption at all times. And being incredibly vanilla is kind of funny, though, as a frogish yes. kind of thing. Of course. It's, it's pretty good. Okay. So the very last thing we need to talk about here, and this is the very we- weirdest thing we have here, is there's a, there's a little card uh, called Croaking Counterpart that creates a uh, frog token that's a copy of a non-frog creature. Now, a weird thing about this is that they didn't actually produce a token in paper that depicts a frog for this, but Magic Arena has its own unique art for it, and that art is incredible. Oh, man. It's a frog wearing a hat! It's a frog wearing a hat, and it's literally, it's just, it's, it's the counter, it, it's so good. It's such a good-looking frog. It's such a good-looking frog. It is gorgeous. And it's wearing a little and leaf as frog, a hat. And this frog is a copy of Primeval Titan and it gets me two lands every time I swing in with it. <laughs> yeah. This, this frog is a copy of Hero of Bladehold and it makes two, t- uh, two soldiers pop out of them and they just all swing in with their swords out and then they all become two ones. And there's yep. a little, it is a frog sitting there attacking with. I love this guy. He's, he looks so good. As far as pure, just visual, like we all, I drew the, uh, the cutest damn frog you've ever seen. And we're like, you know what? You did. That's a damn cute frog. That's a handsome frog. I made a oh, copy God. of Necrotal and this frog just popped out of nowhere, stuck a knife in a guy and just died immediately. Oh. That guy popped out of the guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, this frog is every creature of Magic the Gathering is what I'm getting at. Absolutely. Well, and, and they all look it's, like this. It's Non-frog. every creature except for the frogs. Because it already is a frog. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, croaking croaking counterpart. counterpart's art is still amazing. It's so good. It's got eyes oh, like I would draw on them. The flavor text is also good. Frog is a serious form of flattery. I appreciate that it's riding a heron in particular because uh, heron frog relations are very negative. So it's the, also the. The griff of Innistrad that the the Cathars yeah. ride or yeah. Heron headed. So yep, it's a it's a good reference. Got a little hat. I, I love this guy. Frogs with hats are in fact extremely good. I told you right. I, I you know what I'm talking about. In all honesty, I would put this at the top of this list. I would not. I'm willing to put it. I'm willing to put it above unwilling ingredient. I would personally put it below unwilling ingredient, but. It is definitely in that top three. Red. Hmm. Like it shows up and it's just a handsome frog. <sighs> this frog showed up and then it like made 15 tokens. That's Better treasure tokens. Frog. Also, you, you, you can all, you can also do it twice. You get two frogs. I'm getting hats. at is that this 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 frog hats. is a dockside extortionist. Its hat is actually a pirate hat. Like, yeah, but the thing is, like, the hat is like its job. Like, if you think about it, like the croaking counterpart is, it puts on a leaf and it's like, well, I'm a soldier now. And it's like, well, how can, how do, how are you a soldier now? And it's like, look at the leaf, and it's like, oh, makes sense. Yep, that's that's a soldier's leaf. I should have known. And you just have to, you're you're convinced by it. Yeah, hmm. Like it ain't. It's still a one one. It's still a tiny little frog, but. Mystically speaking, belief is enough. It gets annihilator. 
Man, know. this is hard, huh? Annihilation frog. Yo, when this frog entered the battlefield, it let me take another turn? Jeez. <laughs> it has Annihilator 6? What the fuck? While this frog uh, is on the battlefield, I can't lose the game and you can't win the game. <laughs> You're right. It's true. Man. Um, I'm actually really struggling with this, huh? I tap this frog and pay one green mana to discard any creature card from my hand and go dig for a new one. <laughs> frog a shaman. I got to go Zorak. <laughs> yes. I know that I'm not making my case. Uh, it by, it by was you. It was it. it was specifically you saying more things. It's like, I, I think I have to go with Zorak. I know. I know that that was like <laughs> making working against my own opinions. But also, it's really fun to think about how this frog you know, it's 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 gotta be this frog, frog. gives all be squirrels frog. plus one plus one, you know, and it <laughs> creates four of them. Yeah, it's 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 gotta be hat frog. It's so it's it is. It's such a good frog. Wizards, please put this token in paper. Make it happen. Let me own this token. Let me let me have this full art token of this frog. The power is within you. All right, let's go up this list. Let's, let's, put this, let's put this frog to bed. At the bottom of this list, not much of a frog. Steeple creeper. Really good snake, though. It's a fine snake. At 41, we have the wretched Anurid. Yep. It's just a zombie. And then we have the Anurid Merc Diver. They're better zombies than frogs. Just above that is the gray slod. Uh, and above that is the Anurid Bark Ripper. Ugh. Ugh. Omicron I first guy. Uh, just above that at number 37 is the troll bread guardian. Is this not a good troll than... or a frog? Yeah, is this lower than where it is on the trolls list? I'll take a look. No, I think it's above it. Uh, it is the next to worst troll, so. Okay, so no, it's higher than. Okay, it is a better frog than it is a troll. Just That's not saying much. At number 36 is the frog hemoth. Yep, that's where he's at. At number 35 is Hezro. Real stinky. It's more than one frog on here that's real stinky, and this is the lesser of the two. At number 34, we've got Gitrog, Horror of Zava. Not representative of Gitrog Monster as a whole, but yeah. the lesser of the two. Again. Emrakul's a hell of a drug. At number 33, we have the Frog Lizard token. Yep, that was a man. If we could see it from behind, I'm sure we would get a big old face full of frog ass, I promise. Yeah. At number 32, we've got Erg, Spawn of Turg. It's like if Lanky Kong was a frog. Ugh. At number 31, we have the Galloping Lizrog. Frog shouldn't gallop. They shouldn't. At number 30, we have Excavating Anurid. Anurid. Maybe I'll figure out if it's pronounced Anurid by the end. At number 29, Noxious Toad. Take him off the list, wizards, please. I've opened four <laughs> of them. I don't need this many. You've got a playset now. Congratulations. I already had a playset. <laughs> At 28, we have Papercraft Decoy. You open them up. Uh, it's one of my least favorite parts of part eight of JoJo, if I'm being honest. <laughs> At 27, a Nurid Scavenger. I like him. It looks like the Gill Man. I'll kiss the Gill Man. At 26, it's the Frog Might. It's how you know that this is not a list based on power level. At 25, Species Gorger. Will die at the first cold snap. At 24, Whip Tongue Frog. Piercing whip. Like a Castlevania whip. A tongue is just a fleshy sword. I'm always saying this. Ugh. At 23, Frogkin Kidnapper. I'd like to see the final version of this card. I want it to be real. Yeah. At 22, Haze Frog. That's a classic. At 21, Croconura. Simic's finest. At number 20, second past a Nurid. It's an Urid brush hopper. That's so weird. It's very strange. At number 19, we have an Urid swarm snapper. It's the most frog like out of the end. I still think it's a good looking frog. It's a good looking frog. Fine frog. At number 18, the Plax Caster Frogling. I want to hear him go Kamehameha through each individual croak, you know? At 17, it's Yargle, Glutton of Urborg. Happy Yargle Day. At 16, it's Kami. It's Kami, guys. Kami. Hi, Kami. 
That's the third Kami this this one game. <laughs> There's been a lot of Kamis. Coming up, number 15, it's Babagodzilla. <laughs> Thankfully. Let's give Luckily. it up for Babagodzilla. And not Gadzuki. Ugh. At 14 is Morg Toad. At 13, it's Chub Toad. At number 12, Omnibian. And uh, those were also Toad. That one, that's Toad. They're all Toad. At 11, it's the Bloated Toad. I want to, I, I just want to pet him. I like that guy. I also want to pet the Bloated Toad. And finally, your top 10 Magic the Gathering frogs for early 2023. Number 10, which is familiar. Number nine, Spore Frog. Spore Frog, man, I love that guy. Number eight, the Git Rog Monster. I'm Beautiful. discarding seven lands on my cleanup step and you can't stop me. Terrible toad. At number seven, the son of Gitra, Grolnok, the Omnivore. Hailing for parts unknown. Grolnok versus Toxrill, Harold in a cell. At number six, it's the Jade Avenger. Love this little guy so much. If I had my way, he'd be number four. At number five, it's the Crooked Amphibonaut. He would pro- he is probably eating children. He definitely is eating children. He's got his favorite uh, part of the uh, of the food court is the lost and found. Lost <laughs> oh, the lost child child's corral. At number four, it's the Barag Befuddler. Dank weed frog He's... wizard. <laughs> it seemed <laughs> that's oh, my man. new character. Once Dank the weed frog uh, child protectors. The Child Protective Services agent came, came over and uh, me and me and her got mad, Ruddy. Ugh. Ugh. At number three, Ugh. unwilling ingredient. Doesn't want to be a spell component. I don't know who, who does. does. Who does? I never I had never uh, dissected a frog at school. That was same. not a thing I did. Yep. Same. Frogs is expensive. I, I, I have I have defected a, a frog. Horrid. How dare you? Fucked up. At number two, it's a leapfrog. Yay, leapfrog. Perfect encapsulation of frog. Fucked up that you're not number one, but that's somebody here's fault. At number one, out of nowhere, it's the croaking counterpart token. Parentheses, arena. (laughs) It doesn't exist, and it's the best one. (laughs) Look. It exists enough. Uh, it exists enough. That's this so frog. weird. This frog is uh, is a legal target to exile uh, when you're making yourself Mishra. Taken by Phyrexia. Can you meld off of copies? I was going to say, you can't do it off of tokens. They have to have a back. Ah, uh, fair. Okay. Never mind. Similarly, if he's aware, if you turn, if you make a werewolf out of this guy, he can't turn to his backside. Yep. No, no werewolf frog for you. All right. So I, I got, it took me a while, but I got one that wasn't legal. <laughs> this, this frog has protection from everything. How about that instead? I mean, te- technically the Emrakul also wouldn't have been legal. Because Emrakul has protection okay. from colored spells. Protection from colored spells. That's right. Oh, and this one is target as well. So no, you can't uh, make yeah. copy progenitus with this. Never mind. I just didn't want to shoot you down with that one. Well, okay. Um, hold on. Uh, the mind slavered Emrakul, though, that's protection from instance, right? Yeah. This is a sorcery. Correct. So that yeah, would work. That would work. Yes. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. You could even. You could even. You could. You could cast Emrakul. Take control of someone else. And then using while controlling their turn, have them cast Crook and Counterpart t- targeting that Emrakul to take control of you. Or to take control of myself. That was you at the time, therefore allowing that's me not, that is me that's to take not control how that works. of myself. That is not how that works. Fair Good enough. Effort, but I would be controlling my own turn, I understand. Yes. The frog journey continues. Onward, onward into frogs. 